lovelies and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jess and this is my channel, a sprinkling of awareness and positivity. And yes, I know it is a Wednesday. I haven't got my days modelled, um, but I am now going to be bringing you videos every Wednesday and every Sunday. So every Wednesday is going to be positivity and get to know the blonde behind the blog. I know I'm half sort of let's call it bronze right now but we go with it and then every Sunday is the more serious it's the awareness it's the knowledge and more informative video but today's video is how and why I started a YouTube channel and first of all I want to say that if you are new to YouTube and you haven't searched for top tips for new youtubers you 100% need to go and check out them videos because the videos are so so helpful and there are so many out there why is Jess doing a top tips video um I'm doing today's video for me and for my subscribers in a year's time in five years time ten years time top tips that I took on board to help grow my channel organically um, and yeah today I hit 50 subscribers it's the 27th of May and this morning I hit 50 now I know for all you big youtubers out there 50 is only minute but for a new youtuber I was ecstatic I was overjoyed this morning in 50 because I have been looking into ways that you can grow your channel I've been looking at videos on top tips that new youtubers should have and my god thank you for them videos because I have learned so much in the space of two weeks and this here is my little brown book and for anyone that has me on my Instagram or Facebook or Twitter or even just my general official website jesstuffield.com you will know how much I love my little brown book and I keep everything in here from my blog planning to my event schedule from when I have TV interviews I have my keynotes I have everything in this brown book which leads me to my point number one of keep a journal make notes and plan your videos is my list of videos that I'm going to be making and a couple of them are already ticked off and slowly but surely the, this list will grow and more ticks will be added so point number one make a journal and in here is where I have added everything that I have learned. Firstly, if you haven't started a YouTube channel and you are thinking of doing so, just do it. If you have a passion for fashion, music, blogging, gaming, um, makeup, just beauty, cosmetics, if you have a passion that you want to share with people, just do it. You will not regret it. Um, and that brings me to my top five tips for today um, my first tip is don't take yourself too seriously and don't overthink the situation um, starting YouTube can be quite daunting and I'm not gonna lie to you it is hard work it's time consuming time consuming time consuming you need to learn how to edit you have to learn different things you learn to love it and I really do I know I've been on YouTube for two weeks but I genuinely love it um, I've always been sort of I have my blog I have my Instagram um, but I've done Sky BBC TRT I've done interviews and making a YouTube channel was just my next my next step so but you can't take yourself too seriously so yeah 
Tip number one, don't take yourself too seriously and don't overthink. For the camera. How can you ignore a camera when it's right in front of you? I know. But the next tip, and I learned this through even doing interviews, I would say, is to forget the camera. Simply ignore it or pretend it is one of your best friends because you can have a, a flowing conversation with your best friend without stuttering, without forgetting your words. So pretend that your camera is your best friend or as we're on a, as we're part of YouTube, pretend that you're talking to your subscribers because that is what you're doing. You are talking to your subscribers and you want to become friends with all of your subscribers. So treat the camera as if it is your subscriber group. If you are constantly worried about the opinions of other people and what they're going to think, um, negative comments, it is, it is going to stop your confidence growth. But you can also grow your confidence with your YouTube channel. Um, my confidence level, I would say, is probably a 9.5. Um, I've always been quite a confident person. So having you doing a YouTube channel wasn't as daunting as I thought it would be. Someone that you're not. Um, obviously, there is trending videos on YouTube and videos that you should sort of put out on your channel so that you are noticed. But don't ever become someone that you're not always be you um and i fully get it if you're looking at this video and thinking okay well you've only been doing it two weeks you've only got 50 subscribers what do you know i get that but it's just so important just to always be you it doesn't matter whether it's on youtube or on instagram or twitter just be you and let people subscribe to you because they like who you are. Um, no one does you better than you. Three is be confident in your content. Now this is so, so important. You want people to come to you because you know what you're talking about. Always make sure you are putting correct information forwards. Therefore, if you know that the information that you are putting forward is true and reliable you will be confident in your content you will be confident about talking about your niche you will be confident about talking to the camera about your topic because you know what you're talking about and when you're confident in your content and confident in the way that you're talking about that topic it is going to shine through on the other side of the camera Number four is do not go into making a YouTube channel thinking you're going to become YouTube famous or you're going to become monetized. Monetized. I can't say that word. Monetized. Monetized. Don't go into YouTube with that mindset. Constantly be looking at your subscribers, your watch time. You're going to be constantly thinking you're not doing good enough because you haven't hit that target. Now, having targets is very important, and that's one of the things I have learned. Um, specifically through being a part of Facebook groups um, so if you are new new to YouTube and you're not a part of any Facebook groups um, I'm a part of the women of YouTube Facebook group and the women on there are so supportive and you meet people that have similar channels to you talk about similar topics and you can interact with them which is really important it's so important to interact with other youtubers yeah don't go into it thinking that you're going to get paid don't go into it thinking okay well i'm going to become mega youtube famous i'm going to get paid by youtube now you can you can um i didn't know this you need a thousand subscribers and four thousand watch hours to become that word monetized monetized here we go again my fifth tip for you and my last one is to set realistic goals 10 subscribers 50 subscribers 100 subscribers go up in 50s 
Um, so that is my last tip for you. I hope that's been really, I'm hoping that I can look back on this video in a year's time or even five years time, 10 years time and look at the tips that I've put out because these tips are ones that I'm following and you know, it, it shows it all in here. Um, so these are the, the tips that I've told you today are, are genuinely tips that I have picked up and I have adapted to my own style um, but just have fun and like I said if you haven't started a YouTube channel do it um, there is things to think about and it is hard and it is time consuming but if you're a creative person you will love it so and if you're already on YouTube and you're watching this and you're thinking oh okay yeah I'm taking it a little bit too seriously I need to lighten up a little bit um just have fun just have fun don't same with anything with life just don't don't take yourself too seriously just be you and people will love you for that because no one does you better than you. Some of my tips may not be of any use to you, but some of them may. Um, like I said, just be you. My biggest tip, start a YouTube channel and be you. Let people love you for who you are. Whether in five or 10 years time, I've still only got 50 subscribers. You know what? I'm happy with that because you're all so genuine you're all so so genuine um and i'm gonna leave it here for today and i will see you all on sunday for my awareness videos so love to you all stay safe and have a absolutely wonderful day mm -hmm.